Hey guys, so <laughs> I know I've been gone. I've been gone for like two weeks and um apologize for that, but um uh, it's just been really, really crazy these last two weeks. In my previous videos I had said um that I've been slowing and um at first I thought it was just, you know, my diet. So this week it started swelling really, really, really beyond like, like the normal, the usual. And it started to get really, really bad to the point where I couldn't even walk. It was like everybody framed the term pig feet. Like literally, if you ever seen um, how pig feet are, it was like really fat and stocky, and I was just ah oh, man, it looked like I was in pain. And then I really couldn't walk. So then they were like, well. My husband and my sister-in-law and her and my mother-in-law was like, you need to go to the hospital. You need to go to the ER like now. And I'm like kind of I'm I'm not really a big fan of like going to the ER emergency room, but um they insisted. So my husband took me to the emergency room. So I went in at 12 o'clock and um at night or 12 o'clock in the morning. So I explained what had been happening and whatnot and um. And they said, yeah, this swelling is like way beyond the normal swelling that, you know, you're supposed to do when you're pregnant. So I had to do blood tests in the usual and I had to sit for hours and hours for the results to come back. While I was waiting for the results, they had put me on the baby monitor to check the baby's heartbeat and whatnot. And um, Talia was, her heart rate was good. So while waiting and I'm like hearing the heartbeat for like four hours, which was good, but it was just like for four hours I just had to hear the heartbeat. And so he comes back and he's like, well, all of, you know, the blood tests and whatever had came, had came back. Um, and it's looking like I have um, preeclampsia. And I was just like, okay, all right, um, well, what can I do or whatever? And it's, for, for people who don't know what it is, it's kind of like um, a symptom or, I don't want to say disease, but like a symptom that you get when you're pregnant. And um, it can cause severe, and one of the, some of the symptoms of preeclampsia are severe swelling, abdominal pain, um, blurriness, um, a vision. Um, severe headaches and even the risk of like as far as the baby that I could get induced and the baby could come early so I'm just like freaking out when he's telling me all these these risk factors and this and preeclampsia is unpredictable so it could it could come and then it could go and then it could come during your pregnancy I'm just a little bit scared I'm not you know totally going to say that I'm not worried because I am but the fact that um, the doctors they seem to be taking this very seriously and which makes me feel a little bit better because now after they said all this or whatever and they explained to me they said now instead in my previous videos I said my prenatal appointments were every two weeks now it's going to be like every week until the baby's due and we're praying that the baby doesn't come early and if so then they'll probably have to induce me I'm going to be checking on the baby's growth and stuff every week so that means I'll probably have an ultrasound every week which I did um actually had an ultrasound yesterday and so they said the baby's growth was great it was good except that her stomach was a little bit smaller I don't know what the heck that means but they say it's nothing to freak out about you know it's um proportions of babies are you know bigger or smaller than others but it's still normal and there's nothing to worry about so that's where I've been at guys is in and out of the hospital and it's starting to really annoy me because I'm tired of drawing blood every time I go I have to do a urine sample in blood and <laughs> Before I did the, um, before they ran the blood test or whatever, um,
um, I had to pee at a club like normal, but then they told me when I left, I'm going to be doing a 24 hour non-stress um, specimen, collective specimen, and I was just like, oh, 24 hours, I want to have to collect pee, you know what I mean? So for the whole day, every time I had to go to the bathroom, they gave me like this, I wish I could have showed you, but I returned it back to the, um, returned it back to the doctors. It was like, literally, I'm not even lying, it was this big, and they wanted me to fill it up with urine. And I'm just like, well, how is somebody going to be, how is somebody going to fill that up in 24 hours? Like, I don't even go to the bathroom that much like that, you know what I mean, to be filling up some jug. It was literally a jug with a little cap. Kind of looked like, um, like one of those powder tea containers. And I'm just looking at it like, oh my goodness, for the next 24 hours, I'm going to have to pee in this tray, first of all, that fits around the rim. I felt like, <laughs> I felt like I was an elderly person. I had, they gave me this bucket, and it fits around the ring, the rim of the, um, toilet. And I had to pee in it, pour it in, I don't even want to say. <laughs> Pour it in the jug, and then I had to store it either on ice or in the refrigerator. It was the nastiest, and I couldn't wait to turn that in. And so I'm at the front, I'm at the front um, desk whenever I return it, and they're like, "Oh um, yeah, so um, what brings you in?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm just here to like drop off my specimen," and they're like, "Specimen? What?" And it's like this big jug, and I'm just holding like, "Yeah, I'm just here to drop off my pee." <laughs> And the nurse is looking at me at the front desk like, are you sure that's what you're supposed to do? I'm like, yeah, that's what the doctor told me. So far, my, um, um, as far as the swelling, it goes in and out throughout the day. I try to keep my feet elevated as much as possible, like literally as much as possible. And, um, that helps it go down the swelling. But, um, oh, I meant, I forgot to mention this too, like, when you when they when you do or if you do have preeclampsia it's like it has to do with your blood pressure so my blood pressure skyrockets up really high and then it goes down and then it goes up and then it goes down and my last reading was it was like 140 over 92 and that's people that's not good and I was like freaking out because it was so high and the doctor was just like, yeah, um, there's definitely, you know, your blood pressure, you have really high blood pressure. But that's just due to the preeclampsia. So now I have to go every week um, up until the baby is born and we have to do the test over and over and over again just to make sure that for one, there's no protein in my urine because you don't want that. And then two the babies grow through my blood pressure and then um just to make sure the symptoms are kind of like you know does it progress so they try to do everything they can the doctors are doing everything they can but like they told me this this disease or whatever it's like really unpredictable but i'm going to have faith i'm going to think positive that this will all die over and everything will be fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated as much as I can, but like I said, with the hospital visits, I'm so drained. I will see you guys next week. See ya.